Out to that ruckus at a CVS in D.C. A group of people captured on cell phone video rushing through the store accused of assaulting a security guard and shoplifting. D.C. police just shared this picture of four people that they're looking for. 7 News' Rebecca Turco visited the southeast location and is hearing from people who just don't feel safe shopping there anymore, as well as CVS's response to the safety concerns. It's been a normal day at the CVS at New Jersey and M Street, but last night, a scooter rider in the store, someone running, someone wearing a mask, what appears to be a group of young people causing a scene in this cell phone video taken by a customer. It's very concerning. Elisa D'Souza lives just down the street. She says she's heard of this happening in her neighborhood and beyond time and time again. There are people in juveniles that are stealing these products and they're not being held accountable. Most of them are young. They know that they're only going to serve one day in jail or not have any consequences at the end of the day. It's unclear if the people from last night were minors. We've blurred everyone's faces since no charges have been put out. At least one security guard can be seen in videos and at least two officers are visible, though it's not clear which department they're with. Metropolitan Police say someone reported a theft here last night night, but we're told that call didn't come in till this morning. It's been ongoing ever since I've got here. Elisa says she's dealt with crime since she moved to this neighborhood two years ago. She's speaking out and encouraging others to do the same. It just comes down to working with, you know, our lawmakers and our council members, our ANC, and having them recognize what's actually happening in this area and that it's scary for us. A CVS spokesperson tells me they're working with police and no customers or colleagues were hurt. Adding, quote, the safety of our colleagues, customers, and patients is our top priority, and we're committed to ensuring we have the products they need in our stores. Reporting in Southeast D.C., Rebecca Turco, 7 News.